Nick, um, been a great day so far. Two fantastic games, really built up for a cracker game. Special shout out to Andre Beats uh, Roo, playing his 100th game for Wanneroo. Traditional Roo dog, so it should be a cracker game. Built up really, really, really ready for this game. Yeah, thanks very much there. As we see, Southern Lions just taking the field now. Wanneroo will be coming down from the shed shortly. Southern Lions line up this afternoon. You've got your captain, Dean Kingy, up front, joined by Jordan Shelford, Victor Young. Then in the locks, Alex Hale, Salisi Marley, Tasia Newsom Smith, William Burrows, Brody Eastwood, Mitchell Kingsmill. In the backs now, Cesar Waga, Bronson Hokai. Number 12, Simone Ragu, then Camille Nasaroka, Mili Nabrosi, and Liam Mackinnon. As we see, Wanneroo taking the field now, led out by their captain, Andrew King. Slowly followed by Andrew Rokes, beats in his 100th game this afternoon. Two and three, Scott Cornell, T. Vuniavalu in the locks. Luke Callum, Brad Campbell on the sides. Kate Baird, Andrew King, the captain. Mark Cornell, the vice captain. In the backs there, Jared Deacon, Robin Stortz, Dylan Smith, Jordan Gratton, Palmer Fowl, Chris Palmer. And at the back, the young Grayson Makara, who's been making an absolute impact through the running lines this week. Uh, sorry, in the last couple of weeks. Are you ready for a big game here this afternoon? Oh, definitely, Nick. I think this uh, first five minutes is going to be a big impact. Uh, first team to get out there and make a mark on this game should step them in the right uh, uh, situation here. So Southern Lions kicking off from right to left on your screens here. Wanneroo set up to receive, just waiting for the fans to clear. Your referee for today's fixture, George Foster-Jones, and he's joined on the sidelines by Matthew O'Brien and Grass Stratton. As we wait for the kick to come here, and we're underway here in the first half of your Fortescue Premier Grade Clash of the Week. Live on YouTube and broadcast on NITV. Not quite the start Southern Lions would have liked over here. Let's see how this uh, scrum goes first up. Big hit for Beats on his 100th game. This yep. is where he should dominate. Big Beats in the number one jersey there. Look at him. Keen has to come across to this line. Scrums have been a big contest all afternoon in the second and third grade fixtures. Everyone's trying to make an impact. The interesting move for Wanneroo this afternoon. They've been playing Andrew King at number seven. He's normally outside centre, the captain. Moving up into onto the flanks. What do you think of that decision? Oh, I think a uh, pretty good one, actually. I think he's, as he's getting older, he's getting a bit slower. He's got the body and physique for it, so it should be a good contest for him to get stuck in there. Certainly. Ball comes out the back here. Cornell. Big run there. Masanara first, first up. Jared Deacon controlling well at the back here. That one tipped backwards. Center's got it in the middle. TJ Vuliavalu securing nicely. Stortz nice and loud so far early. Moving their way up into the 40. Beating one tackle there, Wanneroo. Southern line's pushing up really good in defense though, so holding up. Yeah, great line speed early on. Just need to get out of the way of the contest here. Stortz calling for it, goes back door. That's foul. Forwards organized here. There. Big Brad Campbell having a bustling run down the side. Need to get hands across here. Wanneroo with their first look in the 22 as the win comes behind their back strongly. Keep using this momentum to keep going forward. Southern line's marked up. Nice in defense there. Yeah, they haven't been sucked in just yet there. Brad Campbell having another piece. Calling for the quick recycle, there's Deacon. Beats, strong run. So backline holding firm here, Southern Lions at the moment, getting absolutely wrapped up in the tackle. It was a great hit there by Cesar Waga. Short side, options, getting it all the way. Dylan Smith down the corner. Setting up now, ball is available. Got to get some support there. Wanneroo can show a little bit of patience here, slowly build it up. Yeah, Andrew King, he's going to make sure he's up on the line nicely. Five out from the line now, real pressure early. Sustained phases is the name of the game. Luke Callan driving his way up to the line, we're too short. Short side now. Kingy loving that position there at number seven, getting stuck in early. Yeah, two great carries early. Ball feeding out now. Massive gap out there for Jordan Gratton. Going to go all the way himself. Jordan Gratton gets over for Wanneroo's first try of the afternoon. It's 5-0 in your Fortescue Premier Grade Clash of the Week. Just three minutes in. Good start by Wanneroo there. Ball possession and holding, maintaining the ball. That's good patience and well, well finished. Yeah, really nice work. All the forwards there. They're spreading out left, right across the field. Happy to have a bit of patience. Work their way up the field. 
really actually happy with Robert Stortz early on. He's loud out there at 10, isn't he? Controlling the game nicely, yep. Talking to his forwards and backs, getting the line. I think one thing they can work on, though, is just taking that ball line a bit quicker. Standing a bit still. Oh, that second phase, third phase there. The backs taking the ball line would be better. As you see there, Grattan, just with a big gap, all he had to do was take the angle, then straighten up. And he's dotted that one across the line. George Foster-Jones waiting for him in the in goal. So kick to come here. Just going to be touching on the four-minute mark after the kick here. Strong breeze blowing left to right across your screen. A little bit diagonal to the back right corner of the field. And it's a strong first kick. kick. Wanneroo go up 7-0. Four minutes into your Fortescue Premier Grade Clash of the Week live on YouTube and replayed on NITV every Sunday at 11.30. Okay, you see Southern Lines reset you out. Make sure they get the kick off right this time and get themselves back in the game early. Lining up on the left here. This one getting really held up in the win. It's made its way past the 10. But the win having a massive effect on the ball. It's going to get cleaned up there by William Burrows. And it's going to be a knock on both ways. Scrum down, Wanneroo ball. So fortunate to come away that time, Wanneroo. Yeah, tough luck for Southern Lions there. Mm. Good pressure on the kick. It's going to be hard to get a high kick going on the 10 this afternoon, going right to left on your screens. So big scrum here on the 40, second of the afternoon. If one are going to run it out of here, they're going to kick for territory and use the winds, play for position. Fullback's a little bit out of position centre field here, I'd say. I think the kick might be a good option. Yeah. And the kick comes. Got to find a bit of a bounce first, though, does. Nice. And that's a good little bit of territory. Oh. Robin Quick Stewart's start by Southern Lions. Wrapped up inside, Liam McKinnon buys himself a little bit of time. And they come away with a clean bit of ball. Oh, just dropped off the chest there. Just had a quick look. It was the right option, just had a look. I think Brody Eastwood just looking up at the defensive line before he caught the ball there. So here we go now for another chance. Wanneroo inside the 22. What can they come away with this time? Scrum feed now. Good stable platform. Wanneroo holding steady, not looking to shove. Now they are. For the push. Sudden lines pulling out there. Picked up at the back there, Mark Cornell. Ball available, spinning out wide. Palmer oh, well, Fowl gets well, the hands off. And Grayson Makara is going to get in for the second try of the afternoon. Terrific hands there by Palmer Fowl. Tough to defend with someone like that. He's got those long levers. He just lets it go in the tackle. The contact was good. Dominant scrum piece as well. Already had the sudden lines on the back foot. Managing to muscle across as we see here. Beautifully in slow-mo. That ball's already gone. Gave absolute space there for Grayson Makara. I mean, good start for Rudogs, but I think Southern Lions don't need to be panicking just yet. I think it's early days. One we got the wind behind them. Southern Lions have shown for the two games before they've come back and every game they've been stuck in. So exactly. I'm surprised that they're going to get back into this game pretty soon. So one just needs to keep up. Stay sharp. Just need to work their way into the game here, Southern Lions. Haven't had much pill yet. Difficult kick this one. The angle is going to be hard on the left side of the pitch. Up this end this afternoon. That wind's going to push it right across the face. Got to kick this one low. Got to kick this one hard. And that one just goes in off the inside corner. So the score is going to remain 12 points to nil. Eight minutes into your Fortescue Premier Grade Clash of the Week here. It's Wanneroo versus Southern Lions down here at Kingsway Sporting Complex. Wanneroo happy with the start they would have had, but I can see Southern Lions off that last kick. One slight adjustment and they get their hands on the ball here, get themselves in an attacking position. Wind's died momentarily here, see if they can get a good kick going. They choose to go long. 
Schultz there. And it'll be a line out, 45 out from Wanneroo's line. First bit of attacking play for Southern Lions. Let's see what they've got to offer. Southern Lions looking just to change the tempo with this game immediately. Play on their speed. Up at two. Off the top. Brody Eastwood, good line out win. Out from Deke. Sorry, out from Mitchell Kingsmill. Eastwood looking to get involved early here. Coming back on the left, Shelford. He's got the turnover. Ooh. No, no clear release there. That's the big vice captain, Mark Cornell. Just a little bit too eager to get over the top of that one. And Saddle Lines will look to go to the corner through Liam McKinnon. Oh, he's absolutely shanked this one. It's only gained about a metre and a half off the side of the boot. Not quite the kick he was looking for, but they still got the line out. They did well off their, their first line out, so they should be confident with this. No, correct. Attacking platform. So we've got number Brody Eastwood down at the moment. Yeah, he's been keen to get involved, but he got wrapped up in that second run. Just having a quick stretch. Wanneroo taking the moment to wet their whistle. Good water boy work there. And Brody's back up on his feet. We'll have the line out. It's on Wanneroo's 40. So Shelford with the put in. And the lines look like they set a crash it up in the middle here. Let's see what happens. Over the top. Scrappy ball. King diving King, loving on the that ball. Position. Good turnover. Maybe it is a perfect match for the old old captain for Wanneroo. Getting it out nice, Stortz. Pal. Little bit backwards this time. Support numbers are there though. Plenty of forwards out in this back line now. Two pods ready to fire. Need quick ball to hit up the second. Ball available. Nice. Drive, but Southern Lions got good line speed in their defence there, holding Wanneroo up. Oh, turnover penalty here. Now straight off feet, Southern Lions. Wanneroo now, hard kick with the wind here. Probably want to come to the right of screen. Yeah, he's going to. It's where it's hard for Southern Lions, giving away penalties in this first off with the wind behind Wanneroo. It's going to give easy territory to them. They're going to be careful. That's an absolute monster from halfway. Probably about 30 from the opposite touch side. He's kicked it all the way across the face and he's going to end up 15 out. Forwards are not going to be angry with that type of kick if he can keep that up all day with the wind. Full line out, Red. Quarter line left for Wanneroo here. Let's see what Southern Lions does in defence. Look like they're going to attack the line. Hold. All set up nicely. Yeah. Wanneroo maybe collapsing there. The oh, Southern Lions all the way. Not going to get away with that. Yeah, I think they've caused an absolute menace there. And no, they're oh. not going to get away. Take your time, Kingy. Oh, no, he quick. wants a piece of the pie early, Kingy. Ran up nicely there by Beg. Oh, good turnover. Massive Number turnover six. win. That's Newsom Smith. Box coming out nicely. It's not going to be in touch. Dylan Smith just gets underneath it. Tries to beat one, not backwards in the contest. And we'll have a scrum just punched forward sudden lines in that tackling contest. A little bit lucky for Wanneroo there. I think uh, Southern Lions look like they had some momentum. The mm. ball was theirs. It's a handy strip by Newsom Smith there, all over that. He read that beautifully. Good contact. Important scrum for both teams here. Want to need the platform to get attacking. Southern Lions need to put some pressure on this uh, tight five. Blind side's open here as well. If Wanneroo can spin this one round to the left, it's going to open up a big channel for the eight to pick. 
They just get it safely at the back. Up not to shove. Nice inside ball there. Hands are all over this one. Non-call made by the referee. Wanneru escape with the ball. Nicely out the back there, Deacon. Storts to Garatton out the back door, giving it out wide for Palmer. Palmer's wrapped up, supports there, but Southern Lions trying to pilfer this one. Strip turnover inside turnover. the 22. So Storts has got back for Wanneru. Newsom Smith at the back here Use it. for the Lions. Southern Lions want to keep that ball in hand for a while, get some momentum. Don't kick it away just yet. Yeah, phases are key as we see Burrows hit one up. Pocket. Maybe kick it now. CC Waga. Make sure of that one. It's going to find its way into touch about 30 out from the line. Southern Lions will be happy with that from where they started from that scrum. Push one to back. Not a bad, bad work in defence. Might be a case this afternoon if if Wanneroo, they might gas out a little bit early here. If they keep up this momentum, Southern Lions look I happy to soak it up at the moment. Maybe that's the game plan. I think you're right there, Nick. This is a high-tempo game, and Wanneroo's going to be able to make sure they can finish this way. Southern Lions against the head win. Wanneroo, that's twice now they've missed the jumper. It's a little bit early in the first half to be missing these lineouts. As Waga decides he'll go himself up to the 40. Pick and go coming. A bit high there. Ref's got it. Penalty advantage coming. Newsom Smith absolutely bustling through the middle. Getting wrapped up, but he's beat another 2-3. That one's Four lost tackles. forward. Oh. And a really long advantage there from George Foster Jones, the referee. I think that's fair enough, though. That was quick play and the, no advantage, really. And he didn't call it over, so... Never was enough. clear. He was just getting tackled the whole way and Wanneroo just weren't good enough to bring him down. That'll give him a lot of confidence. I think it was about four tackles he broke there. Take the points, I say, here. The wind's swirling a little bit at the moment, but it's not too much in their face. It's a long kick. They're going to go to the corner. Making sure of it there, getting it out. Giving a platform to attack off. So. It's going to be Southern Lions, 35 out. No, mate, his foot was, he was actually had a foot, at least one foot behind. Love to see Bronson Hawkeye out here. Number 11 for Southern Lions on the left wing. He's got a good bit of pace on him. If he can get the ball out wide, it'll be hard to stop. Southern Lions going for a short line out here. Extra men in that midfield. Let's see how they set it up. It's good ball. Waga doesn't take the option in Newsom Smith, goes himself. Short side, got through the hands from Hales. Victor Young, securing ball. Quick recycle still going. It's just a knock on advantage from the referee. Nearly falconed off his own ball. Space now. Big run up the middle there. Salisi Mai. Got a man down in back play there. Short. Andrew King. Took a hit trying to make that tackle on the He's tough. Mile. He'll get back. Short side again. Big triple skip pass there by Jordan Shelford. Missing offside, Victor yeah, Young, but we're going to have an offside penalty coming back. We've got and we've got a couple down. down. Mm. That was a good run by him. Did really well. So hopefully he gets back up and gets back into this game. Wanneroo have got to be careful, though. That's twice up the middle of the field. They've slipped off three, four in a row. Doesn't look good there, Nick. Hope he's all right. Might have emptied the gas tank himself there on that one big run there. Hopefully he's all right. We'll see how he goes in a second. So currently, 17 minutes into the first half of your Fortescue Premier Grade Clash of the Week down here at Kingsway Reserve. It's Wanneroo 12, Sutton Lions 0. The Sutton Lions creeping their way with territory back into this half. Don't expect them to be going anywhere soon. Yeah, I think Nick, they've done a great job now. They've got the ball in hand. They're showing some confidence, um, giving one a bit of a run for their money. So some points over here will be very handy for them. Give them a lot of confidence going forward. Yeah, that time, Kings Mill. 
Just kicking to the corner here. We'll see if Sutton Lions going to go off the top or if they have them all. Full line. Back line for the Lions set up in a four-man crash as well. Wanneroo off the top, just secure it. Got to get to ground. Just slow ball in the pocket. Stortz, long kick. Nice big kick by Rob Stortz there. They're going for the quick line out, I think. No. He did well with the angle there, Stortz. Ball's dead now. The Southern Lights get themselves back into Wanneroo's 22 and get some points. Not, they need to get back on the scoreboard here. A little bit flat to set right. up the back line at the moment. See Sawonga oh. take it to the line this time and offload it instead of taking it himself and giving an option. There we go. Gives it off this forward. time. Oh, bustling run. Just lost forward in the contact there by Nasaroki. Just not working for them, is it? But. Uh, a lot better. Sisawonga taking that ball to the line, drew in two defenders offload, and the hooker making some good yards there. So that looks like the option there. I feel like they're just a little bit flat though. It's okay to have that inside check runner, but two, three, and four players around him as well. Oh, yeah. Also flat and also up on the line. So that second pass, it's a bit close to the chest. It's coming on a little bit harder. I like to see them a little bit deeper, run onto it, maybe spin it one or two more passes. I agree with you there, Nick. Split line here. Wanneroo have gone three left, one behind, one right. Sorry, two right. Lions matching up just with the ten behind the scrum. They read the nine pick and go left. Stepping inside two, all the way up the field now. It's a kick through right there. Grayson Makara got to chase this one hard. It's going to run all the way dead though. Not a bad option, but we'll be coming back for the scrum. 22 or scrum. Got a choice. can have it. Where's the kick? Going for the scrum. Kick's about there, George. Yeah, yeah that That's looks right. good. He got touch judges marked it for him. All right, this is really Southern Lions' first attacking scrum ball. Well, scrum. So let's see how they go with the ball here. Beats on his 100th game, can put some pressure. Escaping the early push there. It was a handy bit of work by Kingsmill to hold that one up, try to draw that free kick. And now he feeds his back line, triple skip. No pace here from the man out wide, but now the winger finally. Hakai gets his hands on the ball, keeps it in touch. Handy, handy little work by Kingsmill to keep it open, open as well. Newsom Smith buys time. Bugger. Just need to be patient here, Southern Lions. Just get some momentum, keep that ball in hand. No, straight through sure. on the grubber. Finds a bit of grass, but no one really chasing. Time now. Oh, staying in field nicely. Great in Makara. TJ. Now, TJ running up the Step. field. Fully of Alu. Oh. Back to Grace and Makara, and they're going to go in. How good's the goose step from the big boys up front there? I think TJ will be talking about that one for a couple of weeks. Uh, the show and go turn. Great footwork. Great support run by Grayson to stay on his tail, get the ball back again. I think he deserved that try after keeping the ball in play over there. He was on the touch line, did all the hard work. And, uh, Seemingly out of nowhere. for his hard work there. But. So now 22 minutes in, it's going to be Wanneroo 17, Sun line 0. Southern Lions sucking in the big ones. Just a couple getting attention as well by the physios. I think Nick, if they come back after this kick it and they can just keep ball in hand, they shouldn't have kicked it away there. Just keep the ball in hand for a little while. Wear Wanneroo down, test them out in defence. Mm. Kick 
in that chat over there, I'd be telling them we just got to hold off for the, with the wind in the back, second half, should be able to come home strong. So they've got to think about that as well. Stay positive. And the kick's good there. So the score now moves up. 19 to 0 in favour of Wanneroo. We're about 23 minutes in to your Fortescue Premier Grade Clash of the Week on NITV and YouTube. Come the second half as well. It's going to be good to see. The rain might come in late in the second half. If that wins in the back, you can put up a high ball. It's going to be hard to catch for Wanneroo. Could gain a lot of territory quickly with some I good think kicks. So. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. It's a good kick. Name on the ball. Brad Campbell taking it up. Good off. Supporting runs. Looking good for Wanneroo. That's a bit of a wayward ball deep, though. Isolated, three on two. Straight over the top lines. Good clean out, though. Now Stort's in the pocket. This one's got to bounce in. He's confident with that boot of his. Oh, he's found an absolute pearl, a bit of space. It's going to go too far. Let it go all the way, the 15 says. Smart bit of play there, Liam McKinnon. We're going to come all the way back for a scrum. All right, this is Southern Lions' opportunity to get themselves in this game now. Yeah, it's a big turnaround for them. It's a good kick by Stortz. Just didn't find the angle correctly, though, but that's a big kick. There wasn't much wind around with that one. It was a beautiful option, but I say the wind had died and just got the roll rolled out of there. But Southern Lions will be happy to see it go over that uh, dead ball line anyway. Crouch is fine. Fine. I want you supporting your own body weight. No, no. A little bit more supporting of their own weight, the front weight, the front rows need to do. Southern Lions got for us an attack over here. Killing someone outside that 13 channel. Just give them some options. Move the Wanneroo pack around. Yeah, I wonder when they're going to flick the switch on these crash balls off 10. Comes off nine pick, flat now. Wagga himself again. So they're just waiting patiently. They want to keep the backs. Maybe for the second half. Draw in the backs, then go wide. Penalty advantage coming Wanneroo now. Eastwood getting cleaned up. Salisi just getting taken all the way up the field. Wanneroo can't seem to bring him down. Kingsmill. Nice crash ball up the centres again. Will they go wide now? Got to be careful. That's Burrows. Burrows gets it out all the way into the corner. I think that's Nabrosi. Beating two. Just got to get caught up now by the fullback. It's going to come back penalty offside. See, they look handy when they get out wide, don't they? They do. Long advantage there, but uh, a mismatch out wide. So Southern Lions have some confidence from that, knowing that they can, can find it. Just retain the ball, keep uh, possession, and they've got some opportunity to attack out wide. Good chance to get to the corner here now. So this one makes its way into the corner. See if Southern Lions have got a special line-out move here. If they just bring this one down, have a good crack at it. Might bring them all on here. Drive from the line-out. Would be nice. Eastwood up at three, over the, the top. Throw King again. King goes for the intercept. Advantage, knock on. Off green. Off green, red ball. So almost stolen by King there, and he could have been off. Another good chance here, Southern Lions. That's twice they've been in one of his 22 and just haven't executed that line out when they needed it. They need to work on that. Both sides, that's four inside the 22s they haven't hit. I'm sure the coaches will be addressing that at half time. A little bit like the force last night, couldn't get a line out right. <laughs> so slowly piecing their way together here. 27 into the first half. Crouch. Five. Set. Big hit, Wanneroo. At the back now. Eastwood picks off to Kingsmill. Now Wagga. Still driving his way forward. Kingsmill gets a little pop off the back. Hales now. Settling inside the 22 nicely. They're about 15 out. That one deep to Shelford. Short side. Victor Young takes a bit to bring down. Short side again. Newsom Smith needs to stay inside the field of play. 
feeding now. Crash ball. Oh, Ever short. closer. Pilfers there. Roll green. Get need to use it. You need to get that ball out, I think. Backlines there are plenty. It's four on six out wide, and they haven't got the... Has the penalty gone their way? Is he given that try? He's given the try. Oh, my apologies. Did not see that one at all. Who's come up with the try there? Number one, number one green is offside. Doesn't matter. Southern Lions are going to get on the board for their first try of the afternoon. It's going to be 19 to 5 with a kick to come. Captain Andrew King feeling the pressure after the first try. Maybe you know something's slipping in the boys' gas tank. Some strong body language by Southern Lions there. I think that's what they needed. Young Brody Eastwood just getting some of the strapping removed from his leg at the moment that's fallen down. Still a kick to come here, Kingsmill. Hard against the wind. Jar shaping across the face thanks to the wind. So the score is going to remain 19 to 5. We're 29 minutes into the first half here. And this could be anyone's ball game at half time, I think. And King, he's enjoying that position at number seven. He's getting closer to the uh, referee there. Not sure the referee would enjoy it as much. Uh, George has had many, many, <laughs> many occasions out in the park with Andrew King. It's amazing that you put an outside centre in the forward pack and all of a sudden he's a scrum doctor. He knows everything. That's right. This one deep, Wanneroo. Collected well there by Vunia, uh, sorry, by uh, Dean Kingy. Good defence. Nice crash ball. Don't want to exit the 22. Keep the kick an option. And they do so. Wagga's in the pocket. Hold red, hold red. Oh, it's a better kick. Quicks the throw. Oh, not out. And now with the ball. Oh, oh big hit, Wagga. Big hit. Numbers out to the right. Want to if they recycle quickly. Got to get it out. Stortz feeding well now. All the way up the middle. That's Jordan Gratton finding his way to 24 out from the line. Got to get over the top, Wanneroo. Deacon finds it. King. Not afraid of contact. Gets himself to ground. Stewart's calling the shots from the blind side. Deacon now finding Grayson. Ran up by Beats. That was a 100-meter run for Beats there on his 100th game. I'm sure he's going to tell that one. Out to the left wing now. Show and go inside. TJ Vuniavalu just managing to get to ground. And the penalty is going to go the way of the Southern Lions. Hands in the ruck, Wanneroo. Big let off in pressure there for the boys. That's good confidence by Southern Lions. That was strong defence, held it off. They'll be happy with that. Find it interesting the kicking to touch for Wagga. In general play from his own 22, he'll kick it 50 metres down the field. Off a penalty, he's happy to take three metres. Three metres. I think you'd rather just get it out sometimes, Nick, than uh, not get it out and hear it from the rest of your team. So sometimes that pressure of getting it out, but I agree with you. I'd like to be in the other half from there, though. <laughs> At least the other <laughs> half. <laughs> it's a Southern on their own 40, over the Another top. Another steal by Wanneroo in the line out. I think that's big Alex Hales. Doesn't need a lifter, he's tall enough. Stortz, short ball king. Stortz wants it again. Deacon fighting to rip it out, but flat. Oh. Palmer Fowler almost getting it through. That was almost the option there, but just letting it go to ground. So we're going to have a scrum just outside the 22 here, Southern Lions. Probably going to have to take one crash ball and then clear it out. On my watch, I've got about eight minutes left in this first half. Overcast conditions here this afternoon was about 21 and beautifully sunny when I rocked up this afternoon for third grade. Uh, as the clouds roll in this afternoon, it's probably dropped to about 16 and forecast rain in the second half here. The wind blowing heavily left to right of screen. 
the rain's going to bring a different dynamic in that second half. So Wanneroo's going to really want to get some extra points in this half. It's going to be a big message for them at halftime. Let's not get worried. We're down at the half, even if they still are. But now we've got the advantage. We've got the wind in our backs. We're going to chase them up. If it gets wet, we're just going to kick. And I hope that's the case. So a quick reset of the scrum. Far side, not happy. Front row getting tired now. <laughs> Trying to buy some time. I think Big Beat's on the loose head side over there. He's just trying to get away with one. Big drive, Wanneroo. Scrum by Wanneroo again, bringing the pressure on. But Eastwood off the back. Lugger comes in from 10 to help out. They're outside the 22 now. Getting a little bit tied up there, Nasaroki. Newsom Smith, bustling through the middle, Newsom Smith. All he's got to beat. Oh, that's a good tackle. Grayson, yeah. Now, Nabarosi kicks over the top, regains oh, his own bounce. ball. Now they're wrapped up, 10 out from the line, turnover ball. Stortz just going to kick it, a little bit of a shank. It's going to stay in play for Wagga, tries to use the boot and misses. Going to come across the back here, it's Wagga. Likes to run himself, thinks he's got an angle. Gets wrapped up in the middle there. A little bit of a bump from Hales. Now it goes across. Salisi Malali. Should have let that ball go, I think. Yeah, the number's out wide. If he took that first option straight, then fed it out and to his turnover. backs. And it's a great turnover there. Not releasing the ball. Wanneroo come back with the meet. I think that's big beats. Winning a turnover. He would be talking about that one at half as well. I'm sure he I'm doing will. all the work in the ruck. Oh, his dad's watching as well, very proud. His dad used to, uh, 20 years ago, playing against Southern Lions on the pitch, first grade player. So it's good to see him out there with his son. Be admiring that old uh, Yopi Mal, we used to call him. <laughs> no, tremendous rugby family, the Roos. So Wanneroo, 21 out. line. Backs look like they want it though. This one could be going under the black dot. Oh, good sack there by Southern Lions. Coming away with it. CeCe Malai running up the sideline. Needs to stay in touch. Newsom Smith on the gather. He's been there all day. Fighting still, trying to rip the ball there. Dylan Smith just not quite getting it. Goes to Dean Kingy. Got to get this one out. Kingsmill misses Wagga. Oh, good tackle. They really need a clean ball there, Southern Lions, but they've got it back, recycled. Space now wide. for Nabarosi. Lost green! Who's that? That's Ragu moving his way into the 22. So front football, Southern Lions, if they can come away one late in the half here, there's only about three or four to go. Spins the call, Wagga gets this one out to Victor Young. Shows, goes, needs support, bumps one off, gets rid of Andrew Roos. He's not going to be happy about that one. Short side, the call. Wagga goes himself again, oh. could have fed it through the head, still going all the way in the corner. Oh, no. Just tackled into touch, CC Malai. Really good defensive pressure there, Wanneroo, but boy, they were close to getting another one scored on them late in the half. So it'll be a line out in the corner to Wanneroo. Just need to exit. They're going for the contact with the, the tackle with no, no arm. Yep, take a penalty. We'll have a look here. Oh, I don't know. Tackle was made. Half wrapped that anyway, first the hand. Yeah. They tap and go down in the corner. Oh, no. Now it's all That's blowing all up. Needs. Frustration's building here. Beats. A motion in his hundredth. There was a punch thrown there. Hopefully no one saw that and the game can carry on. We're just going to take a little bit of time off here, says the referee. Let things cool down. We'll take a breath.
Ah. Look, I think that uh, Newsom Smith is having a great impact on the game. Keep working with uh, Sissé Malé. The two of them are working really well. Just need the rest of the players to play off him. Looks exactly. for that offload. He's sucking in the plays, breaking the tackles. He just needs to offload just that ball. Just needs that one more player yeah. or the two support runners. Like, we'll take the phase. Happy to take the phase. Just need to get over the top and support. <laughs> the time back on here. Just under three to go. Line up for both teams here. Wanneru up at two, win the feed off the top. Need to get over the advantage line, staying in the field of play. They do. Spinning wide, lots of space to burn out here. Don't know if the kick's the option, but it's going long. Needs a bounce. Does. What oh, a kick. Not sure if it was the option, but sure, boy, oh boy, that one's paid off. He'll tell the team he did it on purpose, but uh, that's a bit of a relief for Wanneroo getting out of there. They should, uh, lucky not to get away with the try there, so I'll be happy with that. Yeah, Chris Palmer, he's only had the one or two runs early in the half here, or late in the first half, I should say, uh, but that's a handy third involvement. So under two minutes to go. 19 to 5 in favour of Wanneroo in your Fortescue first grade clash of the week. Down here at Kingsway Sporting Reserve. Big afternoon, big crowd down. Plenty of them up in the shed getting their lips wet. And that one over the top, secured by Newsom Smith, the big man having a big impact for Lions in the first half. Deep ball. Wagga set for it. Coming out now over the top, not the best pass in the world. Gets collected by McKinnon. Hakai over the top. Blindside knock on. So almost a good piece of counter attack opportunity. Wugger's pass just not quite going a hand there. Minutes to go by my watch. I think some of the lines will be happy if there's no more points put on this game. Walk into the second half, they'll be confident. One route. They try to take opportunity with this territory that they got and try to get some points to finish up the half. Definitely two very evenly matched squads at the moment, these two, across all three grades. Big hit again, Wanneroo. Sudden lines with a big push this time though, wrapping up nicely, Kingsmill shutting down Deacon. He's turned the wrong way, needs support, straight over the top. Mark Cornell, the vice captain, second penalty over the top for the first half. And Southern Lions point to the corner. They want to get up there. Just a little bit lazy there, Mark Cornell, straight over the top once again, giving away that easy penalty. They're under a lot of pressure. I think they caught uh, Wannery by surprise. This scrum has been dominating most of the half. I think took that a bit too relaxed. Well done, Southern Lions. Wagga, lazy kick, needs a bounce, doesn't get it. It's going to stay in the field of play. That's just not what you want. Maybe you're right. He does need to make sure these short <laughs> kicks into out, touch. Yeah. Just get him out is the call. Out wide now. Big counter attack opportunity here for Chris Palmer. Kicks through, gets tackled after the play. I think that's Jordan Gratton chasing all the way. Jordan Gratton's going to dot this one down. Wanneroo are going to score on the death of half time. That's a big, big letdown for Southern Lions. But Wanneroo are going to go up 24 to 5 with a kick to come, and that'll lead us into the first half. That's definitely what uh, Wanneroo wanted to finish that half with. Southern Lions will be kicking themselves for throwing away on that penalty there. They got that out, that opportunity to finish the half there with a try. Unlucky to Southern Lions, but well done to Wanneroo taking advantage. Lucky on the bounce there, sat up beautifully in the in goal area, so Wanneroo could secure that try. Got to call it a little bit unlucky there for Southern Lions. I agree with you there, but the execution on those kicks to say, get them out, get your set piece going. Give yourself every opportunity to play the game. I don't understand the thinking there as well. He's only two and a half from the touchline and he's given it the softest little toe poke. When you've got full license there, I'd say to go the big banana, just snap it into touch, get it down there. You're going to be safe. 100%. I think he didn't, didn't back himself there. He just needed to give it 100%, put some uh, meat behind that ball and put it out. So a big kick to lead us into the half. 
currently the score, 24 to 5. This to lead us in. And he's kicked that one straight over the black dot. Brings the score to 26 to 5 in your first grade. Fortescue Premier Grade Clash of the Week. It's going to be one of Roo leading as we go into the second half. We'll be right back straight after this. <laughs>
the second half of your Fortescue Premier Grade Clash of the Week. Brought to you by NRTV and also live on YouTube. Replayed every week, 11.30 Sunday mornings on NRTV. Currently, we've got the Roo Dogs 26 beating Southern Lions 5 as we wait for George Foster Jones, your referee, to get us started in the second half. I think this is going to be a big half uh, despite the 21-point lead. I think it's going to be a nail-biter finish. Yeah, as we spoke about in the first half, the wind's going to play a big factor. It blows left to right here. Weather's going to come into play a lot. As Wanneroo forwards, happy to run this one up. I think Wanneroo have done some good structure. They've been very confident with those one-up hit-ups. Taking the ball just as I say that they lose the ball. Well, like all 15 <laughs> of them getting involved. Yeah, everyone's getting in early. Need a couple more heads to lift for Southern Lions. We've got the likes of Newsom Smith and Cece Malaya. Being an absolute wrecking ball for the Southern Lions, but they need a couple more to get involved. Penalty coming the way for hands on the ground there. And Jordan Gratton's going to kick us into touch for the first line out of the second half. I think Jordan will be looking over at uh, CC Wonga and say, that's how you kick the ball out. He said not wanting to be a part of that, though. No, there's got to be a conversation about those kicks into touch soon. <laughs> yeah. So first line out, second half, 23 out. Wanneroo full line, back line's deep. Up at two, off the top, just a little bit aggressive. Working its way out for Grattan now. Now Powell. Good solid defence by Southern Lions there. Read the play well. I think they've turned it over, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, I think they're on top of this one. They need to get it to the back though. But I'm sure they get the scrum if they don't. Box. Floating. Needs a bounce, does. Going to be difficult with that uh, wind, so Southern Lions doing the right option there. Getting some territory now. Some pressure on that line out. I definitely think Wanneroo needs to focus. Brad's going pretty hard off the top there. Bring the ball down, offload it. Just give it a little bit of time. Hold the defence up a bit more. No reason to be piercing it at your halfback off the top of the line out at all. Mm. So line out, halfway. Wanneroo feed. Southern dropping one more off the line out to match numbers. Up again. Oh, That's better hands. this time. Deacon able to get this one out cleanly for Storts. Storts all the way up the middle, beating two, needs support. Left side again. Big Beats having his first run of the second half, his 100th game for today for Wanneroo. Coming left again. Bustling run. Luke Callan, ever ready to push forward. Just coming a bit loose. Pass not that good from Deacon. Storts opts for the kick. Found a bit of space. Will it bounce? Yes. You get the kick, he's lucky there. Not really many options outside him, so his only option was to kick the ball. I want to really look at that, getting the numbers out there, over committing at that breakdown. Oh. The line's got a couple of their big boys outside there. Looks like they're going to secure this line out and then run it up in the midfield. Another Luke missed Callan. opportunity by Southern Lions. Scotty Cornell taking that. Look at him go. Oh, look at him go. He's going to want that. Oh. Brought down five metres out from the line. Pick and go the call. Short. Deacon scrambling for the ball. Slow feed. Big Mark Cornell 
losing the ball in a contest there, but it's knocked backwards. Sudden Lions trying to disrupt. Ball's out. Smart play there, not to be offside. One of the Southern Lions forwards got wrapped up. Newsom Smith through the middle now. 15 out from their own line. Do they look to the pocket? They're going to go left. Big run here coming for Dean Kingy. Well done, Robert Stortz. Slowed him down. That's the tackle. Gee, but he's muscled his way 30 <laughs> metres up the ground. Wanneroo diving over the ball there. Lucky to get away without a penalty. No one home out deep. Southern Lions got to put their heads up. It's a big run up the middle. Now a full back back, but he's got wrong footed. There's a bit of space there. Bit of clean up work to do here for Dylan Smith. And he's going to kick across the field all the way. Picked out. Liam McKinnon, though. McKinnon assessing his options. Just stops his momentum before he makes contact. Ball goes to ground now. Comes out off a sudden line's foot. Makes its way clear for Luke Callan. Callan gets his hands away. So secured there nicely now. Mark Cornell, short side. Shogo, Shogo, forward that oh, one. That one was forward. Lucky to get away, Wanneroo. Lost forward in the contact this time now. Got to roll. There's a lot going on on these close rucks, close to us. Kingy trying to get over the ball to help his teammates. Forwards reorganizing now. Luke Callan again. Happy to run the ball in the second half here. Cade Begg. A good line by Cade there. Good to get the ball down. That's where Kingy's happy. He likes it out there. Oh, big beats. Right. Got the ball off, but didn't go to hand. Late hit there on the on the hooker there. Going all the way around the outside. Ragu. Now Southern Lions just need to keep the ball in hand. Don't kick it away now. Just work their way up. They got a couple men down in the back plate. Yeah, so. they got two down, but they got Wanneroo all in all sorts. The ball's a bit too slow now. Wanneroo have completely reset. Oh. And this one, just going all the way to ground. Just can't catch a break, Southern Lions. I think. Uh, Couple of plays back over there, should have kept the ball in hand. So now we're going to have a scrum, want to feed, time off as well. And I think now we're going to have a chat with Francis Williams, who's joining us in the commentary box now as he works his way across. So time off here, we're just waiting for the box to get sorted. As Francis joins us now, we've got time off. How are you this afternoon? No, fantastic. Thanks for having me. No, thanks for coming, joining us aboard. Um, as we know, you've joined the Rugby WA ranks now, but you are ex-club man of Wanneroo here, aren't we all? Uh, I've played my juniors here. You've been running around in the club for years. It's good to see the amount of support down here this afternoon for Wanneroo. Well, um, uh, I have to be uh, un unbiased here, but uh, no, it is fantastic seeing the, uh, the crowd around the ground. and. You know, it's been like that for every round that we've had uh, through the entire season across all of the clubs. So it's no, it's fantastic for the sport. Yeah, it's fantastic to see all the fans getting around to all the Premier Grade games this year. We've had some big crowds, especially the Associates Cottesloe game. I think we had 2,000 plus there for the Battle of Broome Street. That was an amazing game, amazing atmosphere, and it really was a highlight of and really showcased what, what rugby is here in Western Australia. It's good to see all the support. As we come back, time's on now. We're going to go into the scrum. Wanneroo feed straight down onto the ground. There's a couple of plans floating around at the club at the moment as well. You've got to be excited about that. There might be some redevelopments uh, in question. There's meetings to go, there's planning to go, but I've seen a couple early plans and it looks like a spectacular clubhouse Wanneroo want to build here to make it a big focus point of women's rugby in WA. Yes, uh, the uh, the current president, uh, chairman, sorry, uh, Stu Verdon has really been pushing this uh, redevelopment there to um, work as a high performance uh, excellence centre here in Western Australia for, for rugby, for women and also for potentially for other other sports as well. As Grayson Makara pushes his way up through the centre of the field, can find a little bit short side here. Cade Begg just running himself up into the middle of trouble. Needs a little bit of support. Does nicely. Short side now. Grattan gets it away to Stortz. Stortz taking two to bring him down. Chris Palmer over the top. Short run there for King. As they enter the 22, now Wanneroo. Just pushing the defensive line back here. Big Andrew Beats. Making another big run for the club here, Wanneroo. Short side again. Ball's gone to ground just on the other side here. We're going to go penalty for offside. And Wanneroo, do they go quick or do they go to the corner? King wants the ball. And they look like they're going to go to the corner. So it's exciting to see after a big draw last week, Netherlands, Wanneroo. 
And now they're putting on a display like this after Sutton Lions. They're on a two-game win streak. They've been versing not the top teams, but Wanneroo have had a tough competition early up, and they're finding their feet against Premier Clubs of like Netherlands at the moment. It's got to feel good, doesn't it? Uh, look, I mean, Southern Lions has been uh, playing fantastically. Uh, you look at the teams of the week that have come out over the last few weeks, and they've featured heavily in those teams. So they've got quality players there. Um, no know, today, at the moment, they're not quite putting it together, but you know, there's, 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 threat, there's threats all around the ground, and uh, you know, uh, as Scott Cornell takes it up there. Yeah, going out wide again. Grayson Makara, he's finding a plenty of ball at the 10 channel in this second half so far. All the way in the corner of Wanneroo are going to dot it down on the far side. And they're going to get their first try of the second half. And they're going to push this game to 31-5. Eight minutes into the eight minutes into the second half of your Fortescue Premier Grade Clash of the Week with a kick to come in the corner. Uh, separately from community rugby, though, obviously, president of Rugby WA, you've got to be excited to see the force out there having a run against the big teams again. Well, absolutely. Yeah, look, I mean, they, they're not coming away with the chocolates at the moment, but they're definitely not embarrassed. They're, they're really fighting the whole time. Um, and and with a team, we're at very short notice. So, you know, you look at that and you think, OK, well, the, the, the guys that have come to the force predominantly have either finished their super career or they're, you know, they're not quite, haven't been quite there. But, look, they've played on a stage that's far and above and they've definitely not embarrassed themselves. No, certainly, yeah. They've cert I think they've scored the first try in all of their fixtures so far, which is an interesting start. I think there's only one or two games that they haven't. So they're getting on the board early. It's just late after about the 60-minute mark. They're fading a little bit, but that comes with, as you said, you've got some old legs and you've got some new kids yeah. who have just been beaten out of the game yeah. just by pure strength of a lot of the other clubs with big... Well, I think, big yeah, yeah I think, go. I think, the odds, I think the odds shortened after the first couple of games for the bookies for the, uh, the Western Force scoring the first try. So, uh, but no, no, but they've played it fantastically. Tim Sampson's done an amazing job. Mm. Uh, the roster they've got together in such a short amount of time, uh, over and above what they had for Global Rapid Rugby, is just a testament to the organisation. No, absolutely. Well, it's been a pleasure there, Francis Williams. Thank you for joining us here. Um, have a splendid afternoon. We'll catch you soon, yeah? Thank you. I'll hand over to Ian Harvey. So, kickoff coming back now. As Francis leaves, Ian's got the headset back on. Good little try there by Wanneroo, Ian. It was a momentum shifter, I think, for Wanneroo. The uh, Southern Lions are really going to have to fight hard to get back in this game now. As the kickoff goes along, using the win to their advantage here, Southern Lions. Storts just kicking. This one will find its way into touch. Just. Oh. Lucky bounce there. Jeez, it hasn't been one unlucky bounce for both sides no, this yeah. afternoon. Everything's found the right way to go. So the Lions make quite a few changes over there, so coach looking some fresh legs to make some momentum shift. So line out, 47 out from Southern's own line. Short line out, Lions over the top. Cleaned up at the back there by Scott Cornell. Still going, getting brought down here by Newsom Smith. Out to the right's the call. Deacon, Stortz to King, filling in that centre role. Now Gratton, who's having an absolute impact in the second half, found his way all the way down the wing. And I think that is Grace McInerra. No. Palmer Fowler there with the try, I think. That's the one, yeah. No, but great work by Wanneroo there. Really playing with a lot of confidence now. Fantastic to see that ball just spin out from the ruck contest, get two, three away. Everyone set deep. Handy to have Andrew King fill in there and then still go to your inside centre after that. Too many numbers and they've just found their way down the sideline. Too easy for Palmafu in the corner. And that's going to push this scoreline out even further. And again, off a, a set piece from Southern Lions. The line out didn't go the way they needed it to go and they got punished for it. I believe now as well that brings the score up to 36 to 5. Still with a kick to come though. We're 12 minutes in. Jordan with his kick over here. He's pretty much on target most of the day. See if we can put this through the sticks. Got the correct ball flight for days like these. Pierce is low off the tee then gets up late. And that one's over as well, making the scoreline now pretty intimidating in favour of Wanneroo. They got two in the second half in the Fortescue Premier Grade. Clash of the week down here at Kingsway Reserve. 
That makes the score 38 to 5. I can't see Jordan giving that 12 jumper back to Kingy, so Kingy better get used to number 7. I think off with his impact today, he's had a great game. Certainly has worked his way in this second half. He had a few good impacts in the first, but now he's really shining through, showing that he's got legs to burn. As Wano will wrap this one up, just on side there on 22. Deep ball, Storts. Great clearing kick. This one's going to find its way at the 40. As it finds our way over to the commentary box here. Right. Southern Lions take a big breath in. Make sure we got the set. They made a couple of changes, so let's hope they get the dynamics right. Everyone knows what they're doing. Need to execute this line out and give themselves an opportunity to attack. Probably expect Brody up at two here. They go to the front. Newsom Smith doesn't win the ball. Backwards Wanneroo. Need to get over the top now. That'll be Newsom Smith's first mistake of the whole game. He's had a huge impact for Southern Lions. Deep. Clearing kick, making its way into touch there from Chris Palmer. Quick throw in, it goes out. Finding its way midfield now. This one out. Finding its way all the way to the opposite wing. Liam McKinnon fighting hard. Gets brought to ground, about 10 out from the line. Absolutely smoked, but the ball wasn't out. That's a terrible offside penalty. They choose to tap quick, going short up the line, getting driven back, still 10 out. Penalty advantage goes straight to another penalty, not 10, I believe. Yeah, that was a bit of a, a malicious time. hit at the side of that ruck there. That was a big clean out. Time off. There we go. And we'll take Review some time that. to have yeah. a chat. Okay. Two penalties here. One there. One there. Uh, one was it playing the ball? That's one thing we don't want to do now. Just focus on their discipline. I don't want to be giving away easy ball to some lines. Yeah, referee George Foster Jones there, giving them a bit of a warning. Not sure if it was a final warning for a repeated yellow, but certainly making his presence known to Andrew King that can't keep this behaviour up the entire half. Good choice by Southern Lions. They're opting for their scrum instead of the line out here. Solid towards the end of the uh, first the half. Guys. So just got a platform to attack off over here. Yeah. Still back line for Southern Lions. Very close together. They're not looking to... Uh, now they're spreading out. So maybe the crash ball's gone. Maybe they're going to feed it through the hands this time. I don't know. Is Brody going to pick it up from the back Why? of that scrum? Get him a platform. We'll have a reset. Just a little bit close on the far side. So now this is the deepest and widest we've seen the Southern Lions back line. Wanneroo opting to field short on there, expecting the crash ball still. I think we've got eight picking and going here, hitting 12. Ball in. Tied up at the back. Does pick, gets shut down really quickly by big Andrew That's King. I was looking. <laughs> still recovering. Lucky to not be offside there, Newsom Smith. Deep ball. They'll try to use the backs this time now. Replacement, a full fly half. Wraps up, hold him up. No. Advantage, one wide offside. Going down the wing. Good little bit of space there for Nabarosi. No, sorry, he's out here. That would be Brosi Hakai. Some Smith deserved a try there, but hold up. First time he hasn't gone through the tackle. Tussling hard now. Dean Kingy, the captain, wrapped up. Driving forward ever still. Short. And time off again. They're going to go to the bin here, I think, Wanneroo. Pocket. One white, offside. Oh. So big Andrew Roo, big beats, gets sent off. Ten minutes in the bin in his 100th game. Unfortunately, I think he's had a few of those in his 100 games. It's not his not, first, not it's not the last. Not the first one, that's for sure. He'll still get 10 minutes at the end of the game here, I think, though. Oh. And all of his Wanneroo teammates letting him know. Gonna have to make a change. It looks like TJ's going to have to come back on. Yeah, TJ Vuliavalu sure. making his way back on the park. I'm sure he'll have a word to Beats on the way. It's getting warm on the bench there, buddy. Oh, 
this is a good platform for Southern Lions now. Strong has been strong. They've got the ball. We can't say and that down. all afternoon, though. They've got a good platform. They have to use the platform. It's going to get really late in the half if they don't start scoring tries off these soon. As big, Andrew Beats makes his way past us after a hard 10 in his 100th. Smiles on his face. He knows he'll be back. He just wanted a rest <laughs> so he can get a meat pile late in the game. Crouch. Time's back on. Scrum. 15 out. Back. Southern Lions. All right, like same option. Eight going to pick and go. Hit 12, cutting in. Oh, gets turned around on the far side. No, Wrapped up. Wanneroo just want to defend here. They don't want to commit the turnover yet. Newsom Smith picks. Probably his 100th carry this afternoon. He's doing a lot of work for Southern Lions up front. A couple extra centimetres crawling on the ground there. Everything counts. Pick left. Driven. Oh, beautiful. Down the fence. Southern have got to spin this one soon. It's okay to build the pressure. Could push a cross kick in the air and let the wind take it all the way to the corner. Short. Getting ever closer. Driving over the line, that's a try. So Southern Lions just creeping it forward. Wanneroon not able to do enough on the line to keep him out. I think he hit the ball under his beard there. No one saw it, went over the line. Great try. One of the Southern Lions replacements there getting over the line for their first try of the half. It's going to move the score 38 to 10. They're not out of it, but they've got to start moving quick here. Southern Lions were about 19 into the second half in your Fortescue Premier Grade Clash of the Week down here at Kingsway Reserve. So kick to come from the corner. That was a good little bit of rumble work. Didn't, it was innocuous. Didn't seem like they were doing anything, but they got real close to the line and just dotted it over. Not even the referee thought that was a try. I think some of the ones where they got the ball in hand, they look strong, but they just need to hold it a little bit longer, be more confident, and just be patient. I think they're trying to rush it every time, or they're not a couple of phases, kicking it away. So hopefully after that try, they'll give them a bit of confidence. They see so that phases keep, is the key. Keep the ball in hand. As the kick comes in, bending well. No, just inside the post. So score remains 38 to 10. Minutes to go in this second half of the Fortescue Premier Grade Clash of the Week. Live on YouTube, we're played on SBS, uh, sorry, NITV. 11.30 every Sunday morning. It's going to be Jordan Grattan to restart us here for Wanneroo. Southern Lions need to get their hands on the ball nice here. Oh, it's a great kick. Held up nicely. Kings underneath, just underneath it a little oh, bit too much. Great take by the second rower there. Alex Hales. Been impressive when he gets involved this afternoon. Or oh, a little show and go on the inside there. So coming from the sideline there, we've got a knock on called. He's, he's questioning that. After my take, ref. Come on, ref. Did well to get off the about? air there, How yeah. He goes, I was 10 centimetres up there. I was lifting myself into another stratosphere. To no avail, to no award. So now Wanneroo straight back on the attack. If they can reply quickly, it'll pretty much shut Southern out of this game. Southern Lions needs to put the pressure on the scrum here. Eight man shove, get Wanneroo going backwards. Crouch! Good platform. Getting shoved a little bit. Ball comes out. Deacon is Storts. Solid Storts skip man. pass. Getting wrapped up there. Palmer Fowl did a good job to buy some time in the middle of the field there. King hands off. Mark Cornell. Still nice going. captain there, rumbling it up. Short side. Vuniavalu. Inside ball. Chris Palmer. Stripped. Big bustling run all the way down the sideline here for Newsom Smith. Buys time, cuts back inside, still walking his way at the pitch. 25 out now. Spinning wide is the call. Out wide, great passing work. Ragua working his way to the corner. That's going to be Liam McKinnon in in the corner. And Southern Lions get over for their second try in the second half. And it's going to be 38 to 15. Can they work their way back into this game? I think that's what I was talking about. Just holding that ball, being confident and getting the ball out wide. Again, they're number six dominating today, really giving them a good platform to attack off. As you heard there on the effects, Mike, that was Newsom Smith. He's doing a lot of work for a man that says he's got a bit of rib on his body. So kick in the corner. 
Not out of it yet, Southern Lions. We've got about 18 to go on my watch. 38-15. It's going to be interesting to see what the plan of attack is here from one of Roots. Do they lock it down or do they get one more? Try seal a deal. Big kick here. Up. Oh, it's a good nudge again. Does he got the accuracy? He does. This one gets over the sticks. Makes a score. 38 17 in your Fortescue Premier Grade. Clash of the week. Three tries in it. Let's see how we go. It's two in quick succession. If they can get another two, we're going to have a nail-biting finish here at the end. One we really haven't gone to their bench yet. They haven't got many fresh players. I think one reserve. We're down one man. Yeah, Southern Lions have got another probably five, six minutes of 14 men on the park. As this one knocked backwards, one of cleanly off the feet. Stewart's getting it wide. Bratton after his kickoff, Regains has a possession, getting carried back <laughs> to halfway, brought down now, support arrives. Short side, no, open. King, hands off, TJ. Decides to go himself, still going, brought down finally. Short side, Deacon likes it, Stortz joins the party, kicks over the top, no one home, chasing back across, Stortz chasing his own kick. At the back there, the replacement fly half taps it down and we'll have a 22 dropout. He's really made a good impact with his boot today, um, Rob. Control the game well. Oh, Southern Lions need to make sure they get their hands on. They've gone deep. Really nice long kick. Bit of work here for Grayson Makara. Finds King. I think he'll run. <laughs> Kicks. Oh. It's going to go out on the full. Is a forward allowed a kick? That's going to cost him. Oh, bounce as well. Every bounce today has been so fortunate for both sides. Lost forward. Uh, one really to make advantage of this now. They can really put a big pressure on the game if they oh, go through the here. Line by Grattan Smith. Ball loose at the back. We'll come back for a scrum. Green ball. Right in. Sorry, say that again. How many minutes we got left in the yellow card there? Defense. Southern Lions just making a change in their front row there. Sorry, we're back now. 15 to go by my watch. And on the yellow card, how many... How many minutes we got on the left here? Like Didn't three, quite read it, but... Three or four five. minutes, I think. Yeah, probably three to go. If one of you can put some points on with 14 men down, they'd be pretty happy with that. Southern Lions need to push hard in defence. Grattan really getting involved in this game. Straight through, two, three. Pulled up one short of the line. Got to go open side here. Deacon ripping it from the back. It's got to be a penalty. Really slow ball. Jeez, they're going to be lucky to walk away without a car there. That's pretty cynical. Luke Callan. Gets it now. Stortz out wide. He's gonna go himself. Going himself. And he scores. Really good run there by Stortz. A lot of pressure. Penalty advantage coming. Cool, calm, collected flight half. Gets himself over. And that's going to push the score line almost out of reach, I would say, for the Southern Lions boys. It's going to be 43 to 17. Kick to come. Advantage for playing the ball on the ground over there, yeah? And George Foster Jones, your referee, just giving a final warning there. Can't do any more cynical like that inside the 22. Surprised Kingy didn't have a quick word to him on the on the s slide there, just to Thanks. rub it in a bit more. Normally he's right there in your ear. I've experienced that one myself. <laughs> so Grattan with a kick to come. Very gettable for him from here, but the wind's just picking up a little bit. Blowing directly in his face as he points towards the goals. Oh, Andre's back on on his 100th game. He's done his 10 minutes, served his sentence. There we go. So we got about nine to, uh, sorry, what's that? 14 to go. Yellow card returns, kick successful. It's going to be 45 to 17. Warnaroo firmly in control. 
now with 15 men on the park. Southern Lions making the line now. Kick long. That's a good kick. Good height on it. The replacement fly half Jared there. Good staple of the Southern Lions club. Hand in hand to come on as a replacement there. Wrapped up Scott Cornell. Deep now. Stortz passes instead of kicks. Your fullback, Grayson McCarr, gives it out wide now. That's Palmer foul. Gives it again. Down the wing, charge down into touch. One of them won't be unhappy with that result, though. They're going to have a line out, 40 out from their own line. They won't be unhappy, but I think Southern Lions happy with that as well. Wing are getting in, intercepting that kick. That would really put him under pressure if that kick got through. Could have been any result if that kick went through. Oh, I think Southern Lions just dragging the heels a little bit. I need to get some tempo into this game. Give themselves an opportunity. Just tipped at the top and not secured. Southern Lions, Wanneroo come away. Storts almost gives and goes. Gets released through the tackle. Finds Gratton to go up the middle of the field again. Sorry, not Gratton. That's Dylan Smith, and he's just going to charge his way all the way to the corner. Wanneroo have got another one, and they're almost going to have this one beyond doubt now. Yeah, I think Southern Lions now, all those changes that they've made, they lost a couple key plays in defence there. So it was a good little hold up, Southern Lions. They're on a two game win streak coming into this game, but Wanneroo have just been building form slowly. They had a good draw against Netherlands last week, and they've been versing a lot of tough sides. Yeah, I think Some, last week they came down from 19 0 against Netherlands, so to come it's back a from big a big comeback. Like that, we're a Southern Lions. They haven't had the easiest draw in the world, but not the hardest. Not as hard as Wanneroo so far. I think uh, Wanneroo can finish up today. Been really confident. I think everyone's contributed. All 15 players on the park have all made an impact. Everyone's done the hard yards. And they're reaping the rewards. So as the kick comes in from the corner. Taking his time with this one. This one's just going to sneak on the inside of the post. No conversion. It'll be 50 to 17. In your Fortescue Premier Grade Clash of the Week. Wanneroo seemingly getting the best of Southern Lions at the moment with 10 to go. Just off the camera while they're taking the kick there, Newsom Smith just having a seat. We really need him on his feet, being confident. He's leading leading the charge for Southern Lions. We need him to stay focused, keep confident, keep this team in the game. It's another great kick off there, Jared. And take. Two from two. Beautiful. Cade Begg. Just securing nicely. Up the field now, Luke Callan. Finding their hooker, Scott Cornell, working their way 35 out from their own line. Need to go forward still though, Wanneroo. Coming out again. Callan, tied up. Deep Stortz, opts for the boot, not going anywhere. Gets the bounce, this one's gonna stay in play. Return kick coming. Gotta get back here. Gratton with time falls into that one a little bit advantage coming just straight over the top hands in the ruck tap goes king wants a piece of the action for himself hasn't had enough runs he says over the top of the wanneroo forwards deacon still commanding the pack round nice hands there to get it out Cornell gave another pass, almost intercepted there. Didn't really need to do that one there, Stortz. I think Wanneroo could just slow it down. They're just trying to push that pass off now. The structure that they had before was working for them. So just 
settle down, keep the composure, and the points will come. Yeah, even if the message is that, let's make an impact on the competition today. Yep. Don't need to rush it. You've still got 10 minutes. We'll walk our way in. As your captain, Andrew King, is going to make his way from the field now. He's had a good afternoon. He's finding the seven jersey nice and comfy. Does a good little bit of work around the rucks. Turnover or two as well, and then a couple big bustling runs. Uh, he has done well. He's, he's done the hard yards. He's got to those breakdowns, both in attack and defence. Secured the ball. Got his hands on there. So be happy with his day out there. Midfield scrum. Wanneru, 35 out. Fly half. Here go. Looks like they're going to go left, but I'd go right. Pick and go. Give it a palmer. up. Swing. Oh, turned over ball. Kingsville kicks it through. Wanneru chasing at the back. Oh, good bit of footwork there, but doesn't really get anywhere. Dangerous pass. Big hit up on Pearl. Ball stays in play. Advantage Wanneru. Forwards diving over the top of the ball here. Penalty coming. There we are. No clear release. No clear release. The call. Wanneru getting favoured there. So they'll kick down the field. Not much angle to work with. As they start winding down the clock in the end of the half. Yep. Taking his time to get over to the mark there, Jordan Grattan. Five and a half. Five and a half to go, as you called. I can, I can make it shorter if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Referee's ready to call it a day. I think he's looking at the clouds coming <laughs> in over our heads. The rain's coming. and Doesn't want to get his hair wet. Yeah, George Foster Jones, out. he doesn't want to be polishing that one all night. And the P goes in his whistle. It's all going out the wazoo for Foster Jones at the moment. So we're set. Cornell, early jump by Southern. Again, you see that ball just coming off too quickly. Yeah, offside, just coming straight through the line there. A little bit of a late hit on Storts too, but they'll be okay with that one. No, it will. Now. Just another opportunity for Wanneroo to casually walk this one across, take another minute off the clock. It's going to be good, the home win this afternoon for all the Wanneroo fans. As this one makes its way inside the 22, we're 20 out. I'm sure it'll be very well celebrated. <laughs> In saying that, I think Southern Lions did themselves some hard yards. I think they a lot, a lot better than they played today. Just some silly mistakes costing them. As far as players go as well, everyone on Wanneroo has done a fantastic job, but I'd have to give the three to Newsom Smith if I was putting points on the game. I'd have to agree with you, Nick. I think every impact he's made has been really positive. He hasn't given up. He's working. Like I say, here he goes now. Look at that. Straight through beats. One, two, three, four. Could go all well, the where, way. Where's his support? Brought down, he yeah. just that he's Too back quick. Up. Goes Can't again. Doesn't accept the tackle from Grayson. Gets up again. Still working his way. Takes three to bring him down a second time. That's eight people involved in the contest. Now opens it up on the wing. Didn't need a cutout pass. But they're still going to work their way up the corner. Tackled all the way down on the line. Southern Lions inside the 22. Chance. Consolation try maybe. Get an authority. Lost the ball. Storts charge down. down. Taken back. Yeah, off red. Off red. 22. No, charge down. Sorry. My apologies. Yeah. yeah. I think if Newsom Smith didn't get the three points, he just uh, secured that now by making that big run. Just exactly. Nail the coffin. Yep. Hand up for that one. Then besides that, I probably <laughs> split it evenly. One and a half points each to Storts and Grattan. As a 10-12 pairing, they've made it really attractive rugby out of the day today. The two of them have really dominated this game, I think, yeah. As Kingsville takes it at the back. Looking to go high, Southern. Keep retiring. Keep retiring. Oh, really nice take Beautiful there, midfield. Take great. Oh, fantastic footwork as well. Wanneroo make their way up to half time. That one's come off the head. Palmer foul. Southern got to watch their feet there. Straight in the tackle. No contest. It's all right. Ball comes out. Ball offside. offside. Only time we're going to call him out all day, <laughs> the referee. But that's all right. Wanneroo clutching their way, still halfway. Not long to go now. Penalty comes this time, killing the ball. So no clear release. Sorry, not releasing the ball there, Wanneroo. It's going to be two or three left in the second half here. Time off. Southern Lions need to just 
think about this one. Let's execute the kick, get it out. Time back on overseas. Make sure we win the line out. Gives ourselves a platform to tackle. Touch. So maybe one last roll of the dice for Southern. Get themselves one more try before they head home. Long drive. You'd almost put Newsom Smith at 12. Let him just crash it up. Get someone else to jump. See what he does here. Young Brody Eastwood's still out there. He can take it at two. Yeah. Shelford. Wanneroo just getting up in front. Turnover ball. Lost forward. Reds the call as well. We're just winding the clock down here. Rushing it. It's good game awareness from the forward pack. Happy to can take this one in late. As the ball spins wide now. A little bit of space for Palmer Fowl. Beats one. Wrapped up by the second and third as they make their way forward. Still inside the 22, lost forward. That's both ways, guys. Both ways. First one by Green, red ball. Still time left on the clock there, says George. Two knock-ons. We're going to have a scrum. No time to be lying on the ground there, Palmer Fowl. Both ways. First one by Green, so red ball. Right, so a good win here this afternoon, Wanneroo, as we come to the closing stages. Sun Alliance just not good enough when they're using the ball. Couple good players. All good? Yeah, I don't think they took advantage of the opportunities they had. And when they did have an opportunity, they just messed it up. Just that execution cost them big. Um, one of restart, I think, really put the pressure on uh, Southern Lions. They kept the momentum going. Crouch. It's going to build a lot of momentum into the coming weeks for Wanneroo. See if they can worm their way back up the table a little bit. Yeah, they've got a couple of games. I hope think they can be confident uh, next week. Perth Bayswater, I think they're playing. Yep. So it should be a pretty good contest. And the week over, the big derby between the Joondalup brothers. So yeah. Joondalup flying the season so far. Had a great come, great start to the season. So that, that's going to be a big contest at home for Wanneroo. Joondalup's first big test of the year is Associates. They've had a bit of the rub of the green so far. And now Associates are versing Joondalup at the moment as well. It'd be yeah. interesting to see who's, the score there, who's yeah. coming away there. Crouch! Give the brothers the credit. They did uh, Pip Nedlands the other week as well. Yep. So they did do well. Set. Ball in now. Southern. Surely last go for them. Coming out. Need to give it all the way. Inside ball. Working their way. Lost forward yeah, in the 22. Ball. And they're going to have a little bit of a charge out at the backs for Wanneroo. Just being menaces around the ruck there. All the Southern Lions players. And that's it. It's full time here. Score is 50 to 17. Wanneroo get up over Southern Lions in your Fortescue Premier Grade match of the round. Ian, thanks for joining us this afternoon. Thanks for having me. Well done, Roo Dogs. And well done, Andre beats Roo for your 100th game. What a way to finish, champ. Yeah, got a bit of yellow paint on his jersey, but he's come away ending the game on the field and he's done well. We'll see you all next week. <laughs>